let me give you a little detailed analysis of like how gate is asking question these days on what are the chapters okay i may not be very you know uh, you can say spot on on that but you get a fair idea so today's session agenda is angle modulation okay now gateway is so you know communication is broadly divided into analog and digital that everybody knows correct right? Uh, for that, please elaborate on phase giving physical sense while discussing phase modulation. Anyway, anyway, I always do that. Uh, you will understand the uh, interpretation. You will see how frequency is getting modulated. We generally uh, just say the definition and we move forward. That okay, frequency modulation is just modulating the frequency of the master signal. Oh, sorry, um, frequency of the carrier signal. But you will really feel when I will do it. Okay. Yeah, now I can see that how the frequency of the carrier is changing. But as of now, focus on the gateway days for analog and digital. Okay, so guys, generally I would say, suppose uh, if the communication, uh, I gave you the weightage, if it is from 8 marks to 12 marks, because I cannot really decide that how many marks they will be going to ask. Right? It depends on the overall paper. So if they are going to ask 8 marks, and let's say, they're going to ask four question to six question. Okay. Sometimes they ask four questions. Sometimes they go and ask more questions, six question. If they're going to ask four question, so definitely they're going to ask one question. When they're going to ask four, one to two question from analog. Okay. One question is hundred percent sure from from analog communication, without any without any fault right it will be asked in analog in digital it is three questions to four questions okay if it is four it is three question if it is six it will be two question analog four question digital now try to understand in analog i have seen they generally 80 percent chance so this is our probability okay 80 percent chance they will ask a question from Amplitude modulation. That's what I have seen over the period. Amplitude modulation. Any of this. SSB, VSB. VSB do not ask. SSB or AM. But generally they ask. Right. Generation or anything like that. The last 80% chance is from here. Right. One question from this side. Maybe they go and also ask from uh, angle modulation. So you can clearly see that what we have accomplished, what we have completed has a very good chance to answer one question see that's how you get like one one question that one question can be of one mark can be of two mark i don't know i don't uh, i can't decide for it digital digital has a lot of topics okay so when i will come to digital i will go into details right from which topic they are going to ask of how many marks so as of now i will not say that but in fm in the angle modulation right fm has another good chance I would say 60% chance for a question to be asked. Even you can see in the uh, questions, right? Now in 80% chance in amplitude modulation, what are the key topics I would say? AIM, simple AIM, SSP, envelope detector. These are the key topics I'm writing, guys. When I say these are the key topics, it doesn't mean that you have to only study these topics. If you do so, you are doing a mistake. Please don't do that. Okay. AM, SSB, and Mellow Detector. These are very key, key topics. Okay. Here I would say they will ask one question on, let's say, narrow band FM or it can be wide band FM. Mostly related to bandwidth and power. Phase modulation I have rarely seen asking them. Okay. So this is how what we have done and how the weight is of the gates. Uh, question asking pattern how the gate ask question of marks so generally one to two question and I am very realistic 
If you don't believe me, you think that I am missing something. Last five to ten years question paper, just go and see. You realize. Digital, though it is uh, very you know vast, but I will definitely tell you that from where they are going to ask a lot of question. And when I will show you my module on the screen from where we are taking gate question, you will realize that I am taking care of that, right? So if you look at the these questions only which you have done in the last session, you will see that. What are the things they are constantly asking? So you will see that what are the topics I have written, these are the topics already been picked up. But guys, my suggestion would be don't study with respect to pattern and all as of now. In the end, you can prioritize with these key insights. Okay, okay I should focus more on envelope detector rather than synchronous detector. Okay, because that is not going to be asked. You can see that in the module only 15 20 question, you are seeing two questions. There's one topic which I have not taught, that's why I have not written here. That is known as, but I have given the question in my module, super heterodyne receiver. Since I have not taught, because this is the topic I teach once I am done with AM and FM both, and then we'll study AM and FM receivers. So, are we good on this? Any question? Okay guys, so without wasting in any single minute, we can start with angle modulation. So guys, angle modulation, uh, it again goes back to the same comment that AC cos 2 pi FCT is the equation of the carrier, right? So AC cos 2 pi FCT has three parameters. One is amplitude, second is frequency FC, and the, if I say AC cos 2 pi FCT, and if I want to look into the third parameter, it will be phi. So AC cos 2 pi FCT plus phi has three parameters. We have already modulated, we have already modulated, you know, uh, AC thing. That's why we are doing in the amplitude modulation. And AC was the carrier amplitude before modulation. And after modulation, it became AC 1 plus KMD, if you recall, right? So already amplitude has been taken care of. Now the time has come look into the frequency and phase. Now again, the funda is saying that you will be changing the frequency of the carrier with respect to the master signal, right? Now, how will we be achieving it? How we are going to do it? So what is the intuition behind it? So for that, just look at the screen. So our starting point is same that it is AC cos 2 pi FCT plus phi. If you vary this, you get A. If you vary this, you get FM. And if you vary this, you get phase modulation. Okay. Now this overall, this overall is known as theta t. So theta t is actually what? It is equal to 2 pi FCT plus phi and this is known as phase of the carrier, phase of the carrier, okay, uh, sorry, yeah, angle of the carrier is the phase of the carrier and this is known as, uh, this is known as phase shift, we can also call it as angle of the carrier okay what is phi there phi is phase shift now if you do any change on this block angle will change yes or no if you vary uh, carrier frequency angle change it if you vary phase shift angle change it that's the reason we call it as angle modulation a lot of people they don't understand why is it called angle modulation because you are able to change the angle with respect to frequency fc or phase shift phi okay so, we can just put in a comment that if frequency changes, I hope you guys are taking notes, if frequency changes or if phase changes, okay, Angle of carrier also changes, right? This is what I just said and writing again. Angle of carrier 
also changes and that's why it is called as angle modulation so in 5 minutes i have justified the title now in this first we'll see obviously fn in angle modulation we are going to see frequency modulation okay so guys let's put the heading frequency modulation so right fm is defined as the process fm is defined as the process okay in which in which the frequency of the carrier in which the frequency of the carrier is varied according to the Mason signal is varied according to the is varied according to the Mason signal and in amplitude modulation we already understood or we discussed that why masses signal needs to take care of the you know sorry yeah so i was saying why we change carrier frequency with respect to masses signal because we want to infuse characteristics of masses signal onto the shoulder of carrier because carrier will carry but again what is going to change the frequency of the carrier that answer is answer to that part is amplitude variation will be converted into frequency variation now this is something amazing uh, and i guess in analog integrated circuit you might have studied in your college or i don't know don't know in the gate academy itself that we are going to convert voltage deviation or variation into frequency variation and there is a device for that. Anyone can answer what is that device? So very good. I really appreciate it. So VCO is the device. If you ask, input signal is voltage variation, output is frequency variation. And we are going to plug in that box, or you can say the device, when we are going to discuss generation of FM. But uh, appreciate your answer. Now I'm going to make you feel that how it is going to happen and how it will make you, you know. Uh, understand that term delta f frequency deviation right and how the bandwidth formula generates out of it so we'll try to understand just stay focused so as of now it's very simple it is the process in which the frequency of the carrier is varied according to the masses signal clear good Okay, so we know that what is the frequency of carrier before modulation, guys? Frequency of carrier before modulation is FC. So this is the intuition, I would say. What is that? FC, right? This is the intuition of FM. From here, you will get ideas that, okay, this is how the FM is coming. So, frequency of carrier before modulation is F, FC and frequency of modulation, oh, sorry, frequency of carrier after modulation is FI. After modulation is FI. Okay. Guys, so Fi is equal to Fc plus Kf Mt. That's the idea. And this is something that you have to keep in mind. Okay, how from where it is coming. This is the intuition. So you are going to change the carrier frequency by using the voltage variation. Can you see M of T what it will get? M of T will give you voltage variations. If I write, I'm, I won't be wrong. 
So it is giving you voltage variations. Okay. So the moment MT will keep changing, which is that your instantaneous frequency is changing and it is FC plus minus something that you will see. And this is your after modulation. And guys, FI is known as, what is the notation name? It is known as instantaneous frequency. Note it down. Instantaneous frequency. Why it is called instantaneous frequency? Because it is changing at every instant. Okay. Now let's say, let's say case first. If M of T is not right, so if C of T, means carrier, is not modulated, what will happen? If C of T is not modulated, so the moment C of T is not modulated, it means that M of T is equal to what? What will happen? M of T is equal to zero. And the moment you say this, you will write Fi is equal to Fc. Correct now guys? So the moment I say carrier is not modulated, means you have not used massive signal to do some magic on the carrier signal. M of t is equal to 0, Fi is equal to Fc. Correct? Now, now if m of t is non-zero, then, that is case 2, you can say, then fi is equal to again same fc plus kf mt. And guys, I didn't say you, I didn't tell you guys that what is kf? kf is just like ka. It is known as frequency sensitivity, frequency sensitivity okay frequency sensitivity of the modulator frequency sensitivity of the modulator okay and it has a big role to play just like what we saw in ka if you recall k was responsible for normalizing the am signal so that it cannot be right over modulated and we are able to demodulate properly and for that it K was able to decide whether mu is greater than 1 or mu is less than 1. Remember that part? Similarly, frequency sensitivity also play a big role. You will get to know in, in no time. Now, moving further, what is the, what is the <coughs> unit of K, KF and all? So, let's write one more point. KF indicates K indicates the change in the carrier frequency. K indicates the change in carrier frequency. Change in carrier frequency per unit volt of the per one volt of the masses signal. The statement you will only understand if you can figure it out what is the unit of K, which I will help you to do. You know that unit of this is hers, unit of FC is also in hers, so this has to be in hers, right? But we know that MT has unit in terms of volts, right? So K must have a unit saying that it is hers per volts so that this volt and this volt cancel each other. Correct guys? So can I say that unit of Kf is equal to hers per volts. That's why we have written it. Kf indicates the change in carrier frequency per one volt of the Massive signal. Agree, guys? Now, what I'm going to do, we are going to demonstrate 
हाउ वोल्टेज वेरिएशन आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर फ्रीक्वेंसी वेरिएशन जस्ट वॉच इट सो लेट से लेट से के एफ इक्वल टू फाइव किलो हर्स पर वोल्ट दैट्स वॉट आई एम टेकिंग फाइव किलो हर्स पर वोल्ट नाउ आई हैव टेकन अ मैसेज सिग्नल एम ऑफ टी इट इज गोइंग इन टू अ एफ एम मॉडुलेटर ओके इट इज गोइंग इन टू एन एफ एम मॉडुलेटर यू आर मिक्सिंग अ कैरियर सिग्नल हेयर एंड द आउटपुट यू आर गेटिंग हेयर इज एफ सी प्लस के एम ऑफ टी ना लेट से लेट से एम टी चेंजेस फ्रॉम Let's say MT changes from minus 10 volt to plus 10 volt. Just see. So now we will map it, the input and output, and we'll show you the deviations. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is this. That if we take M T equal to ten volts, this one M T equal to ten volts. So what is going to be F I? It will be F C plus that is five into ten. So it will be F C plus fifty. Okay. Now, I say that M of T equal to zero volt. So what would happen? F I will be equal to F C. Correct, guys. And third one, if I say M T equal to minus ten volt, so you know it will be F I equal to F C minus fifty. Yes or no, guys? So what is exactly happening? That if you feel You are varying the voltage. Can you see it, guys? And basis that your instantaneous frequency is varying. You are varying the voltage. Varying. You are varying the voltage, and basis that your frequency is also varying. Can you see it, guys? This is what I wanted to say that you can feel FM is happening. So if I say that M of T varying from zero volt to Max 10 volt and min minus 10 volt. So it give gives us that F C is also varying from F C plus 50 and F C minus 50. Look at this magic, right? And this deviation I would call it as Delta F, so I can write it as F C plus delta F, where delta F is known as frequency deviation. In similar fashion, I can also write it as F C minus delta F. Correct, guys. Now, guys, you can clearly see that master signal is varying from minus 10 volt to plus 10 volt is giving you F C from F C minus 50 to F C plus 50, and that is frequency modulation. That's how you can see that the carrier frequency is changing from F C minus 50 to F C plus 50. And I hope that you understand that frequency modulation is all about varying the amplitude of the master signal, and this is that carrier is changing. i have taken a very basic fundamental example to make you understand this let me know your reaction are you getting what i am trying to say there and this is also delta f guys okay good so delta f is frequency deviation If you recall, I can just compare this 
with amplitude modulation. So similarly, if you don't relate, let me know. You will see the magic just in two minutes. Similarly, in amplitude modulation, if you recall, so we were changing masses signal from zero and we were changing the amplitude AC from AC 1 plus mu, if I say MD is 1, if you recall that, and if you vary the MD in negative, it will become AC 1 minus mu, and that was your V minimum, and this was your V max, and that's why we got the formula V max minus V min divided by V max plus Beaming. Do you guys agree the same beautiful thing is happening here as well? Clear? Okay, so moving further, let's start with the sinusoidal masses signal. So, m of t is am cos 2 pi fmt. Okay, masses signal is a sinusoidal signal. So, can I say that? Can I say that Fi is equal to again Fc plus Kf m of t. <coughs> so Fi max will be equal to Fc plus Kf am and Fi min would be Fc minus Kf am because you know that maximum of mt is am and minimum of mt is minus am and I can also write it as Fc plus delta f and this is as Fc minus delta f. So can I say that comparing this with this that delta f frequency deviation formula has become kf into n. Guys, if you recall, you used to remember this formula like anything. I have just derived, I have proved it. So that you should never forget it. Can you see comparing delta f with this term, you get delta f equal to kf into m. Okay guys, so we'll move further. Let's write now time domain equation of fm. So we're going to derive this. time domain equation of f okay okay so if you recall let's take with ac cos theta t that is the same thing theta t was angle of carrier and it was equal to theta t is equal to what omega ct plus Phi, call. Correct? And we also know that if I differentiate this, I'll get d theta by dt equal to 2 pi f. If I just write uh, a general theta equal to omega t or 2 pi. So can I write that f, and let's say it as f equal to what? 1 upon 2 pi d theta t by dt. Look guys, this I'm going with a very basic. Let me know if you don't understand any step. So I started with this theta equal to omega t, 2 pi f t. I differentiated it, I will get d theta by dt equal to 2 pi f. t is gone, because differentiation of <coughs> t is 1. And then I did nothing, I, write, I wrote f equal to 1 upon 2 pi d theta by dt. Clear? Now, this will change the whole game. This will change the whole game. How it will change the whole game? Just look at this. Can I just write this f as instantaneous frequency equal to 1 upon 2 pi d theta by dt? Right? 
okay now for frequency mod modulation we know the basic fundamental block which is for frequency modulation what is the basic fundamental block is this that fi equal to fc plus kf m of t okay now guys fi equal to fc plus km of t okay <coughs> and we also know that fi is equal to 1 upon 2 pi d theta by dt okay so theta t is equal to what if i refer here so i can write it is what 2 pi and if i replace this fi with this it will be what fc plus kf mt but you need to understand that you have to again go there so what you will do that suppose you want to write theta t from there you will write 2 pi fi dt integral right and which is i am also going to do see this is a little confusing part so please pay attention you can write fi equal to 1 upon 2 pi d theta by dt so d theta is what integral of 2 pi fi dt and then i replaced fi with this term any confusion i am just pausing for a minute so what would be the next step simple theta t is equal to 2 pi will come out fc dt integral will become fc t because what is the integral integration of fc dt fc t plus integral <coughs> plus 2 pi 2 pi kf integral masses sigma. This is theta t guys. Have a look. Very fundamental equation. You should always know this. Theta t equal to 2 pi f c t 2 pi f c t plus 2 pi kf integral m t t. t. I would suggest you to remember this all the time. Please remember this. Putting a star. Don't take this equation lightly. This is the basic building block. Sometimes question has to be taken from here, not from the later formula. So anyway, I will do that question, which is actually starting from here. And you guys are asking that get asked question from which is plot. If they are asking from frequency modulation, it's a very good chance. What you're seeing on this board for now, you can take a screenshot or something. They might ask question from this page only. This, this whole slide. I would say this whole screen. Okay, so put the heading time domain equation for time domain equation for FM for multi-tone modulation multi-tone means more than one message frequency multi-tone modulation so same formula we know that AC cos theta t if we use the same theta t here so I will get what AC cos take this theta t and fit in here follow the arrow so it become 2 pi fc t plus 2 pi kf integral mt dt guys look at this okay look at this 2 pi fc t plus 2 pi kf integral mt dt what you are looking at this is your you can say FM general equation time domain equation for FM for multi-tone modulation it's a very general equation 
and now guys you should be really scared looking at the equation it is a trigonometric term cos inside that we have integral right so there is a trigonometric term cos and inside that we have an integral which should make you look scary right you should be feeling a little bad that how will i solve it and that's why bessel's function will come into the picture you cannot directly integrate these kind of integration which is inside the trigonometric term so that's the reason we have bessel's function which we will discuss in a while now before that now before that let's do the same thing for single term modulation for mt equal to am cos 2 pi fmt and you can put colon and write single tone modulation obviously fm signal we are doing single tone modulation uh, modulating the uh, signal we are doing right so i can write st fm equal to ac cos 2 pi fct plus integral plus 2 pi kf integral am cos 2 pi fmt dt now guys we will simplify this so it is ac cos 2 pi fct plus 2 pi kf am integral of cos is sine so we'll write sine 2 pi fmt divided by 2 pi fmt yes or no? uh, 2 pi 2 pi will cancel each other now this equation will go one step further it will become s of t fm equal to <coughs> excuse me ac cos 2 pi fct plus plus kf am by fm sine 2 pi fmt we know that delta f is kf into m right in just for 10 minutes back i did it and delta f by fm we are going to coin a new term which is known as beta and guys right here where beta is is modulation index in fm any problem guys please ask okay now fm will be single tone it contains more than one frequency it has fm it has only one frequency one massive frequency cos 2 pi fm only one frequency fm i will move ahead guys in the interest of time so s of t fm the final equation would become ac cos 2 pi fct plus now you will go that there and you will completely change this with beta so I'll write plus just beta sine 2 pi fmt where beta is equal to very important please keep in mind this formula all the time kf into m by Okay. It is having another formula which is delta F by FM. Always keep in mind this as well. Now question to all of you who are in session. What is the unit of beta? Unit less. Simple. Why? If somebody asks why, go there. Frequency deviation is in hertz or kilohertz. FM is in kilohertz or hertz. Doesn't matter. These will cancel each other. Where is the unit? So there is no unit. 